you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Courtney and today it's finally here Christmas in July I absolutely love this collab and it's hosted by my sweet friend Shannon from the cozy Christmas cottage also the daily DIYer so that makes it even better plus all of my awesome YouTube friends are in this collab so I'm very excited to show you what I'm gonna make I've had it planned out for months so let's get into some Christmas cheer For this DIY, you are going to need different shades of green felt. I ordered this five pack from Amazon. I will definitely link this down below along with anything else I show you in today's video. And each color had several different sheets of the felt. You're going to need a pattern. I've got a template here that you'll use to help you cut out your sheets of felt. And then you're going to need whatever size styrofoam cone that you'd like to work with. Now I'm gonna be using some tiny white cones that I got last year on clearance from Hobby Lobby, but Do Dollar Tree does sell white cones. So this is how I ended up cutting my pattern apart. Again, totally up to you how you want your tree to look. So for this first tree, I went with this color green and I went ahead and cut it out to the size that I needed it using the pattern. And then I went ahead and just made some very light scallops on the bottom of each of the pieces of the felt. Now I've grabbed some white embroidery floss. Now each piece of this uh, embroidery thread is made up of six, I guess, skinnier threads. And so I just wanted to use three at one time. So I'm pulling it apart and then I'm gonna thread it through a needle. And then on each of these pieces of felt on the scallop part, I'm just gonna do a quick little hand stitch. Uh, it was just, I just wanted to do three little stitches, kind of make it look like a, I don't know what you want to call it, a flower, maybe not a flower, but I just wanted a little bit of stitching on it. And I'm not going to do the end scallop on each piece of felt because those are going to end up overlapping when I attach it to my cone. So that's why I am just starting with the second little scallop here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stitch on all three pieces of this felt. Once all three pieces have the little stitching on it, I'm ready to go ahead and attach it to my white cone. And so I'm gonna start with the biggest piece of felt on the bottom of my cone, and I'm just gonna attach it to it with some hot glue. Then I'll do the middle piece, and then I'll do the top piece. Now, it does take a little bit of kind of manipulating the point of this you kind of have to hot glue it just right but you will be able to get the point with it and then your tree is all finished now after i finished this one originally i was going to do all the trees the same but then i decided you know what i'm going to make them look all different For the second tree, I used the lightest green that was in the pack and I just cut these out, the, the plain shape of the template, didn't do any scallops to them, didn't do any stitching, and I just glued them straight to my cone. For this felt tree, I went with the darker green and again, I pulled out that embroidery thread and I just went ahead and just did a basic running stitch. I did not cut scallops in this, but I just stitched along the bottom of each piece of felt. A running stitch is literally, you just pull up, go down, up, down, up and down, up and down, you get the idea. And then again, I just glued it straight to my cone. And for the last two trees, I went ahead and did three different colors of the felt, which these are the three colors of the other three trees, if I haven't confused you by now. But I went ahead and decided to go ahead and just make these exactly the same. So I did add some scallops to each of these, but I did not do any stitching. And then I glued these directly to my cone. So I ended up with a total of five trees. You could do as many as you wanted. You could take these even further if you wanted to add dowel rods to the bottom and put them in little plants planters or you could certainly um, add these to wreaths or good size for that. So lots of options as well as just turning them into Christmas ornaments. Thank you. 
The next DIY started with this trunk that I picked up for 99 cents at the thrift store, but it was kind of a part two to this DIY, the Naughty List vault that I made last year. Fun fact, who remembers which one of my YouTube friends ended up on my Naughty List? She's in this collab. Take a guess down below if you know who it was. Anyway, like I said, I started with this thrift item and I started off, I wanted to show you this because this is how the project started. And of course I wanted to paint it. So that's where I started. But then what happened was I got a little bit of paint on it while it was drying. I went to Michael's and of course I found something else. So you will be seeing this trunk again, but what I ended up finding for this next, next DIY is this little post box to help me create my vision. So this is an easy one. All I'm going to do is cut out a decal. And since I have the naughty list vault, now I need a naughty list appeals mailbox. So I ended up cutting out a vinyl decal in white, which I, in my head said, I'm going to cut it in red. Well, I cut it in white. So I'm going to give this away to one of you guys. Comment down below and let me know if you know that you're on the nice list or if maybe perhaps you're going to be submitting an appeal to the naughty list appeals committee. So let me know that down below and then I will pick a random winner to mail this decal off to. But this is a very easy, straightforward DIY. I'm just going to put this decal on there. I also created a free printable for you guys so that if you wanted to create a stencil or you wanted to um, cut this out and apply it yourself, you could also do that. To finish off my Naughty List Appeals box, I went digging in a very dangerous closet. And by dangerous, if y'all saw a picture of it, you would understand. Maybe I'll show you one day. Um, it is floor to ceiling full of Christmas stuff, but I was able to pull out a little bit of my Christmas greenery left over from last year. And I wanted to add just a little bit of greenery, some berries, get a little bit more red in there to the front as well as just a small little bow. And then once I got that all put together and put on there, this box is ready to receive all those naughty list appeals. This next DIY, I'm going to be using these ceramic coasters that came from the Target Dollar Spot, and I'm going to be making some Christmas character coasters. Now, I did go ahead and use my Cricut to cut all this out, but I did make you a free printable so that you should be able to size these and you can Mod Podge and do these exact same coasters, even if you don't have a Cricut. So this is pretty straightforward. I just cut the vinyl out. Each character has kind of an item that is associated with that movie. So I'm just going to simply apply all of my vinyl decals to each of the coasters. And then because I am using vinyl, I am going to go ahead and seal it with some of the gloss Mod Podge. Now, again, if you go ahead and use these and cut the or print these out on cardstock or on paper, you're going to also want to go ahead and seal it with that Mod Podge. And then there you go. A very, very easy and fun Christmas DIY. This next DIY is a gift wrap idea using Dollar Tree supplies. So for this, you're going to want to grab some of their brown packing paper or wrapping paper, whatever you want to call it, and wrap your present. Then grab some red and white straws and you're going to need three straws so that basically what you're going to do is just cut them in half and you're going to need five pieces of the straw. Once you get those five pieces and make a star shape on top of your package and I'm just going to use some hot glue to go ahead and tack these down in place. 
Once I get them tacked down with some hot glue, I'm gonna take some red and white Baker's Twine. Dollar Tree had several colors. Um, I'm not sure if they're still in store, but I know they had tons and tons of different colors of this. And you're just gonna start threading it through your straws. So the easiest way to do this is I just took a piece of the red floral wire that Dollar Tree has and just taped my twine to it. And that way I could easily feed it through the straws. And I just continued to do that until I got all of these straws attached with some of the red and white twine and then from there you can either make a tag if you want to I just went in and kind of hot glued and secured it a little better and I just wrote directly on the package to the two in the from and there you go a quick little gift wrap idea The last two DIYs are, I guess, honorable mentions because I did them a couple months ago, but they definitely give off Christmas vibes. So this right here is a tree made of wood shims. I'm gonna give you the cliff note version, but I will definitely link both the videos down that show you how to make these trees. And all I did was take some shims from the hardware store and I used my miter shears to cut them in half. And then I hot glued them to a Dollar Tree cone. Lots of options, like I said, you could leave it plain, you could paint this green, you could dust it with some glitter glue, paint it white whatever you like but I definitely feel like it gives off some awesome Christmas tree vibes and then the second tree that I made was made out of wood biscuits you can also find those at the hardware store and I used one of the little cones that I used for the felt trees at the beginning and for this one I did go ahead and put a little dowel rod put it in a planner I hot glued all my wood biscuits to the tree and then I went in with some white paint and brushed it with white paint I really liked how it looked because it kind of gave off a whole ginger bread vibe so definitely keep these wood biscuits in mind for Christmas DIYs I'm gonna be doing some more DIYs with them when Christmas season rolls around but I definitely wanted to go ahead and show you these two trees because I do feel like they just scream Christmas spirit And there you have it, a little Christmas inspiration in the month of July. Let me know down below which one of these was your favorite. Also, I'm excited to announce I'm bringing back Christmas Movie Mondays in the month of October. If you're not familiar with that, last year in the month of October, every Monday I focused on a Christmas movie and did a ton of DIYs around that movie. And so I'm gonna bring it back this year. So if you have a suggestion for a movie you'd like to see, drop it down below in the comments. I've got a long list, but I would love to get all of you to give me your input. And if you didn't know, you can find me on Instagram for all kinds of bonus stuff. I'm gonna be showing my new craft studio area probably first on Instagram, but I definitely will be taking you guys along with me because I'm gonna be building the craft room from the ground up, like literally from the ground up, pretty much literally. And that's all I've got for you today. So thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.